welcome back to our Psalm 40 conversation with Marge Penny. Anything about the church today? Mm -hmm. LaGrave Church, Plymouth Heights, mm -hmm. Big C Church, however you want to think about that question. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about the church today that, that you think the folks who were uh, who were helpful in forming your faith as a mm -hmm. young person mm -hmm. would be happy to see and would, would mm -hmm. celebrate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I don't know if they specifically, although they, I think they would, but in, in the midst of all that prayer for purpose and everything, yeah. and one thing I could do was, you know, came this desire to help other people who are widows. And yeah. um, Nancy yeah. Bolt, who attended this church for so many years, yes. really reached out to me when her husband died six and a half months ahead of Jim. And we started meeting for breakfast together and to kind of walk through this together. You know, I often wonder what the, um, the, the wait staff at Brandywine thought of these <laughs> two women who came on Monday mornings and sat there and wept through breakfast. But we, mm. we worked through um, that together and then one by one decided to reach out to other widows. We're, so, you're not part of the LaGrave part, although okay. we're sort of a rogue group, okay. but, but we started to invite other widows and built up um, three, now it's up to three groups where people are invited and the ones that want to come will join that sort of informal social breakfast group. Right. So we did that. I, you know, I miss her terribly now oh, that she's yeah. gone. Um, but beyond that, I think I'm so excited about the new comfort and care ministry. Yes. Because all of this, all of this piece of praying for people and um, sending cards on anniversaries and coordinating calls for offers of visits and looking down the checklist of what can be done. We have resources in the library at LaGrave and I donated, I read 26 books on grief and I donated <laughs> the ones that I own to the library. So they're there. So they're there. Yeah. And, and giving them resources, I think just to be just I think so the church could enfold someone who's going through that Start. so it's not because as you know as the person there you for the first time in your life are driving to church alone sitting alone yeah. going home alone and and it's that I think the sense of the church being involved would be invaluable to some people yeah. and you know kind of related to that I think a lot of things that LaGrave is doing um, in folding the group of people with disabilities and trying to Yep. bring that to the surface and make everyone feel included, all of the small groups and things like sure. that. So the, the piece that um, that Jim and I would have had years ago would have been, you know, we were going to church for the service, for the traditions, for the preaching, sure, but, but not the involvement in the church. And I think the involvement, and I think that's where the grave is really shining and pulling people in. So I'm, I want to yeah. ask sort of the the other side of that okay. question. Is there some is there anything about the church today that mm -hmm. you think back and maybe mm -hmm. those mentors in your mm -hmm. past would mm -hmm. be saddened by or, or yes. challenged by that the church is? Doing? It, yeah. I, yeah, not so much the grave, but the church as a whole. Okay. You know, I I'm very concerned that our age is far more secular than it ever was, and I may I may have the wrong take on that but at least this country, I yeah. think, is moving toward a secular level. And, and I see people moving towards just spiritualism in general and, and having lost the catechisms, the creeds of the church, the tenets of their faith, yeah. the things that people struggled with over the centuries. What do we believe and why do we believe it? Yeah. And, and I think without that real foundation, I, you know, I, again, I, you know, right. I, I think you, people are gonna fall prey to what, whatever is out there on the internet, whatever comes up. Yeah, yeah. So again, I, I mentioned prosperity gospel. Yes. That's a big yeah. one. Um, but, but I think, you know, other things too, just um, be happy, live your life the way you are. You know, I, I can see getting to the other side of all of this that you begin to realize that you have to look at the big picture in life and that okay. you, you don't get as frustrated over low order things and, and yeah. intolerances and, and that you um, you look at you know what is God's plan and purpose and focus on that and not deal so much on material things and everything. I think I see that I that's my concern okay. for young people growing up. Yeah. Okay. That they're they're faced with far more temptations sure. to just a self focused material world. Okay. I think you touched on this already mm -hmm. when you spoke about the level of care the connection of widows uh, mm -hmm. coming together, but 
other things about the ministry of LaGrave now in specific mm -hmm. that encourages you. Yeah, you know, I, I think all of the programs, I think LaGrave does so well, so much excellence in so many things. You know, or, you know, the holding to the traditional style of worship, mm -hmm. the, you know, the strength of the hymns and, mm -hmm. and the coordination of the service, the, um, mm -hmm. the excellence in the preaching and the programming. I, I think all of it comes together really well. Right. And, you know, I, I feel that um, it, it's a welcoming church and even that the live stream piece yeah. is, is so important. So, so many people have commented that they can't come to church, they can still be a part of LaGrave by just watching it online. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. anything that I should have asked that I didn't ask, yeah. Marge? Okay, I think I would say, where where am I in my faith journey now? Yeah. So, and just a couple of things. I, you know, I've kind of moved towards really wanting to discern God's voice, to increase awareness of His presence. Because again, I mentioned that that superficial level of faith didn't work, yeah. wasn't, wasn't enough. I. I don't expect to reach a Billy Graham level of faith, and certainly not the, the joy of the personal relationship that the Apostle Paul experienced. But, but I, I find that every step that I move closer brings me more peace and happiness and focus. So all the way back to that proposed um, signing years ago at Millwood, yes. you know, I, I would hope someday to stand before God and be able to answer in a positive way, what did I do on earth for heaven's sake? It's beautiful. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. I love that. Marge, thank you so much. I am so glad. I've learned some things about you that I didn't know even though we're on council together right now. So thanks for your vulnerability, your honesty, and uh, I was encouraged. So well, I appreciate you. the time with you. Yep. Thank you.